you, a runner five, and the zombies want to eat your brains, which is a challenge. So Zombies Run is an app for Apple iPhones and Android uh, phones, which you can download off your respective app stores, put it on your phone, plug in your headphones, and when you go for a run, it is effectively a story that plays along whilst you're running. It works in harmony or in tandem with your music player. And the idea is that as you're running along, it will also work with your GPS. It will pause intermittently your music and tell you some of the story. You do not have to run any specific route. You don't even have to run faster or slower at times if you want to, although I do think that kind of adds to the story. And the idea or the, the thrust of the story is that the zombie apocalypse has happened. The zombies are real. And as I say, you are runner five, which means that you are a, a runner, someone who goes and gets things for a, a town that's been kind of fortified and you go out there and get things like fuel and medical supplies and all kinds of things. It also, the app, has like a base building type thing because when you're running it will suddenly say you've picked up a bottle of water. A couple of times it told me I picked up sports bras, which, oh, there we go, um, which I thought was weird. It's like, Okay, so it's, it covers you know both genders, but uh, if you're a male runner, what are you going to do? Run back to the town and go up to some random woman and say, look, I, I got you a sports bra. But anyway, let's say the humour is a bit quirky in the, the app. It's actually quite a sort of entertaining thing where you're listening to your own music. You don't listen to the app's music, so it's whatever you like to listen to, and you run along and it pauses and it, and it tells you something that's going on, and you start to learn about the people of this particular town, you get the backstory, you get there's like an understory, there's like a subplot, there's all sorts of things going on, and you get a snippet of the story, and then you go back to your own music, you go back to your run, and obviously sometimes the, the zombies are there, and the idea is that encourages you uh, along. So that's basically the thrust of what the app is. It's something you can listen to, it's a quirky kind of story, it's a kind of a little bit of a, I don't know, a little extra something to maybe help motivate you. That's kind of the, the basics. Um, it is free to download um, and it's free to use, but if you don't pay, then you get their adverts for their this, their that, the other, because obviously they want you to actually buy the, the full app and get the, the, the full uh, experience without listening to the adverts. That, that's obviously how they make their money. Fair enough, everyone's gonna make a, make a living. So what do I think is great and what do I think is not so great about this? Well, I do like the humor. It's very cheesy. So don't expect this to you know, be the last word in, in voice acting, which I don't think anybody would. Um, it has its own sort of quirky style. It, I did find it quite entertaining. And interestingly, when they sort of said, oh no, the zombies are right there behind you, I did find myself sort of picking up the pace in a really silly way. I was almost sort of smiling to myself when I did pick up the pace. Um, it has flexibility in that you can adjust the, the length to a degree. You can't make a, a mission like five minutes long, but there, are, there is a, an adjustability to it, which is great. And when a mission finishes, say it's half hour long or something, and you're still running, um, what will eventually happen is it will like trigger a kind of radio station, if you like from the, the town that you are a runner from. Now, it doesn't, again, doesn't play their music, it plays your music and makes out that there's a, a guy or two there, makes out that they're the DJs for your own playlist, which is kind of innovative and it kind of keeps it going and it gives you a bit of company, if you like. I think if you're the sort of person that maybe finds running not as interesting as you want it to be, then it just gives you an extra something. It, it, it say it is cheesy, it has quite quirky um, humour, I th and I think it's 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 quite. I don't know if motivational is the right word, 
but it just gives you an extra something. But it's not all finish line photos and high fives. What are the things that maybe aren't quite so good about the Zombie Run app? Well, basically some of the way it works, um, and by that I mean is, as I say, it's supposed to work with your music playing app. Now, personally, I use Spotify, which I think I'm right in saying is one of the biggest music apps going, and yet it doesn't always pause and unpause my music. So all of a sudden it will pause it, give me some story, the story finishes, and my music hasn't come back on, which is really annoying. And right here in England at the moment, it is flipping cold. So I'm not, I'm, normally I wear my phone on an armband, but at the moment that armband is underneath a very thick layer of clothing. It's come up half underneath my t-shirt and then I've got like a thermal layer on top. So if I've got to get my phone out to rep my music, you know, playing again, that's a real pain. All of a sudden, I've, I can't do that and run at the same time. I can't get my arm down there to get the thing out to do that. And then I've got to unstrap it. And then I'm going to have to put it on the outside because I don't really want it outside because of what if it's raining? I want my phone to stay inside because the weather, it does rain, particularly at this time of year. So now I've got to keep the phone on the outside just in case the app stops my music playing because I want my music still playing. So that's a pain. Now, my, my headphones have like a, an inline mic and a pause button. Sometimes that button will unpause it, which is great because I haven't got to faff about, but sometimes it doesn't. So the whole pausing, unpausing your music thing, that's not reliable. It normally works, but there are times it does not work. And on those times, it is just really, really blooming annoying. Another problem is that Sometimes the missions or the actual app itself just stops. It's like you're running along and, and one of the things it does do is it sort of says, oh, you, you're running at X, along, uh, um, X kilometers per hour or you're doing this or whatever you're doing. And then you're suddenly running along and you think, well, I've known for a while like what my pace is. And then you realize you haven't had any story for a while. And the reason you haven't heard anything for a while is the app has stopped. Now, this happened to me like after a little way of, of sort of doing, doing a few missions and what have you, and I had to listen to the same mission again and again and again and again, and much as the story's okay, it's not that okay when you've heard it five times in a row because the same mission keeps on stopping and pausing. And in the end, what I did was I thought, right, oh, this, you know, I'm not listening to this mission anymore. So I like reboot the phone, I clear the memory, I'm doing all these things to try and get it to like, go on to the next mission. I'm thinking maybe it's something on the phone, some sort of memory block or something going on. But no, it kept on playing the same mission again, it just would get, get three quarters of the way through and then stop. Eventually I think, right, I can, I've synchronized, there's a synchronized option on the app, I've synchronized it through to the you know, their server system or whatever it is, I'm thinking, right, it knows where I am because I've done all my synchronization. I'll uninstall the app, I'll reinstall it, and then I'll carry on. Hopefully that will fix it. So I uninstall the app, again, reboot the phone, clear it all down, reinstall the app. Did it synchronize? Did it remember where I got to? No, go right back to the very beginning. And you're like, oh God, for crying out loud. So you think, okay, start over again. And then do you know what? Very, very first mission, got three quarters of the way through, and it stopped again. First mission, uh, which I'd already done yonks before. And at that point, I thought, you know what? I'm done. It, I, I'm sure the app works for some people. And maybe my particular phone, my phone, by the way, in the interest of full information, um, is a OnePlus 3T. So it's about 18, 19, 20 months old, this phone. I have no issues with any other software on my phone apart from this app. My phone is running the latest updated version of Android, or as far as this goes. I haven't flashed it, I haven't done anything crazy with the phone. It's completely stock and normal. And as I say, I have no other issues apart from this app. So from my experience, the app is not reliable at all. And to be frank, when it didn't synchronize and it's like right back and after, uh, just frustrating. The other thing is the cost. Um, if you want to pay for the app, if it actually indeed 
works reliably on your phone. I think it's $30. And like to me, is it worth $30? I, you know, I just didn't see it. I, I thought $30, I just thought it was too much. I mean, Frank, I thought it was double what it should be. At $15, you think, yeah, okay, that's, you know, fair enough. $15 is, what, roughly 12 pounds, depending on the exchange rate. Um, and you think, yeah, no, it's a bit, you know. I wouldn't say it was great value, but at that price, I would have gone, yeah, it's probably okay. At $30, nah, it seems expensive. And when you go onto their website, what they'll charge you, because they'll happily sell you t-shirts and other stuff, there's various things you can buy, none of it's cheap. None of it's ludicrously expensive. But I didn't, even if the app had worked properly, which for me, it just did not, I don't know, I just didn't see the, I thought, no, it's too expensive. I mean, I know they've got voice actors and people's wages to pay and stuff, but I just did not see the value. Um, not at that price, not with the fact it's massively unreliable. Now, I'm sure some people will go, oh, you know, it's working perfectly for me. Well, great. I'm not saying it's, that it doesn't work on your phone. I can only tell you about what happened on my phone. And on my phone, it just was bleh, just no. Just a whole load of nope, unreliable, unreliable on the music player, unreliable um, and the fact that the app would just stop three quarters of the way through, just no and kind of disappointing because I kind of enjoyed it. I, you know, if it works on your phone and if you like a sort of cheesy story, I, you could, yeah, you could probably get on with this. I still think it's expensive, but it does have a certain charm. But in the end, I just got fed up with it. And I've just, now I've uninstalled it and I have no intentions of reinstalling it. From a score point of view, I've got to score it from my experience, and my experience was bad. So I'm giving it two stars out of five. The only reason I'm not giving it one star out of five is I'm assuming that for some people it works really well on their phones. It didn't on mine, but you know there are a bazillion different mobile phones out there. Maybe in other phones it works perfectly well. I'm sure it does. And maybe those people quite like the humour. I quite like the humour. Still think it's expensive, but yeah, I, you probably get where I'm coming from. It's it, it's nearly really good, or pretty good, but just functionality, functionality with the music player, making me get my phone out of the thing when I, you know, it's make, it actually stopped me running at times to get my phone out, to do the thing, to get the music player. So the whole point, it's supposed to get you to run and it's stopping you from running. That's a big fail, big, big fail. And you would have think, you know, this app's been out a long time it should work really, really well by now. There should be no issues. And I know there's new phones and new technology, and, but yeah, no, just no. There you go, that's what I think. Uh, anyway, with that, thanks for watching. Hope that helped. See you on the next one.